All right, song of time once again. Um, wanted to touch on the idea of returning to normal. Uh, I'd let that go. <laughs> Two reasons that I say that. One, um, my life is forever changed based on the pandemic. I have been working from home for over a year now, just, just over a year, and I love it. And I don't want to go back to sitting in traffic every day, going to work, and then driving home from work. Even though I have a, a, a very, very short commute by comparison to some people, I have learned to love working from home. I also don't expect to have very much business-related travel at all compared to how it used to be when I uh, was doing not only sales calls for tra uh, travel, but also going to conferences and things like that. Uh, I, uh, as a side note, I think the virtual conferences are crap. It is very tough for a vendor or a salesperson to get much out of that. F from a continuing education perspective, I think they've been just as good as the live presentations. But for a, a person in my position, the reason I attend conferences is to drum up more business, not to uh, you know just socialize and network and, and add some uh, continuing education education units to my credit. Uh, I, that's not a good setup for sure. So I will be going to some conferences before long as the COVID precautions continue to be pulled back. Um, but again, I, I still don't see the business travel being nearly what it was before. For one thing, it doesn't make sense for us as a company to get $2,500 in the hole just to make a presentation or two to the same pers uh, prospective client hoping to win the business and then slowly earn our way out of that hole and then start to make money. That's kind of an unfair ask. It's always been done that way. So for a long, long time, that was just the game. Now, because virtual, uh, virtual meetings and presentations have become so prevalent out of necessity, I, I think that that will be how I and lots and lots of other salespeople move forward, uh, even if the world does go back to lifting COVID restrictions in general. So my question to you is, what did you do over the past year? Did you waste an, uh, a year's worth of your life by getting really good at Halo or some other uh, gamer experience that you have just thrown yourself into to eat up time? Did you put on 15 pounds because you were lazy, didn't work out, ate because you were bored, all that kind of stuff? Or did you move yourself forward in some fashion? Did you start an online business? Did you read? Did you learn something new that's an additional skill set that you can take into the workplace or to start a side gig if necessary? Did you finish going to school online? I've talked to several people that decided to go back to school online while they had the opportunity to do so and have graduated in a year's time or added another degree to their name uh, in, in the time of the pandemic. So the real question is, if you didn't do that, why? And the subset question is, how can you jump on that and still take advantage of the way things are now and whatever the new version of normal in your life is going to be. Don't plan on things being this way forever. Don't settle for status quo. Make sure that you are moving forward all the time because there's no such thing as sitting still. You're either moving forward or you're slowly falling backwards. As Will Rogers, the famous actor from a long, long time ago once said, you can still get run over even if you're on the right track. That happens by someone who's sitting still. So whatever your last year entailed, congratulations if you moved forward. Shame on you if you moved backwards, but it's not over. Take advantage of the time you have. Right the ship. Get things moving. Get back in shape. Add to your skill set. Make sure that you're maximizing your own potential with the time you have available to get the most out of life. It's the only way it's done. Trust me. As always, I wish you luck in your endeavors.